What do you do with a picture that you don't want to give up? And yet, it's too dark. There's no need to worry. You can fix almost anything in Photoshop. As you can tell, the background in this image seems fine, but the foreground is too dark. There are many ways of fixing it. For example, we can select brightness and contrast, but this is only going to blow out your highlights in the background, so this is not a good option. Let's delete it. Duplicate your layer by hitting Ctrl J or Command J on a Mac. Go to Image, Adjustments, and select Shadows and Highlights. You're going to see a different dialog box. Make sure your preview checkbox is selected. We have shadows at the top, highlights in the middle, and more adjustments towards the bottom. Since we're playing only with the shadows, we can disable the highlights. Fill in the appropriate amount. Once you're happy with the results, click OK. This is what we had before, and this is what we have now. If you don't like what's going on in the background, you can simply erase it. Select the eraser tool and start erasing the background. You can change the opacity of your brush and erase some more. If you wish, you can add some contrast, but I wouldn't add much contrast. This is what we had before, and this is what we have now. We can also apply the same thing to the second picture that we have here. This picture was sent by Susan, one of our great customers. So let's go to Image Adjustments and select shadows and highlights and this time we can add some mid-tone contrast let's change the radius just a little bit the tonal width and then we can click OK before and after and if you want to bring back the detail in the sky, you can simply erase. Let me change the opacity to 100. To merge these two layers, you can click Control e or Command-E if you are using a Mac. One more thing that I want to do is I want to straighten this image a little bit. So I'm going to use the ruler tool, which is located on your toolbar. Drag a line across the horizon. And at the top of your screen, use the straighten tool right here. That's going to straighten your image. If you wish, we can also crop this image. Let's select the crop tool. And if you want to follow the rule of thirds, you can crop it according to that. Hit enter, and here we go. Let's see what we had before. Let's go to Window, History, and I'll move it to the left, and perhaps I'll expand it. Before. And after. 